There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? By the intro alone, you should know who I am. But, just in case you've forgotten the last two seconds, as always, Mr. Warmack is definitely in the fucking building. Now... My videos will talk about accountability, responsibility, and the like, morals and everything. Even though I may not practice a lot of the moral part sometimes because we all fall. But I digress. Today I'm going to talk about a story I saw on Dr. Phil of all places. Now I was watching TV on my few days, I had, on my one day that I had off. I don't get many off days by that. From, you know, what's that? BTW. So on my days off, I have to monitor my time, as you, as they say. So I'm watching Dr. Phil. There's a story about called the Elkhart Four. Now this story takes place in Elkhart, Indiana. The state right beside me to my, not this way. This way we're going this way. It's going this way. Yeah, going this way, Indiana. Then Elkhart, what happened was four young males for age range, the ages were 21, 19, 18, and 17. Or I think the last two may have been 17. No, the youngest one was 17. So the age range was 21. The oldest was 21. I think the next one was, he was 18. And the other one was 17 about to turn. And the last one was 17. Uh, I'm, and it doesn't matter. It's four young males. What happened was, when these four young males got together, they decided, they decided to hit a lick. Now, for all y'all that speak that language, y'all know what I mean, they hit a lick. They have to know good. They trying to do something. They trying to get dirty. They getting their hands dirty. They trying to get that work, trying to put in that work, trying to get that business done. Well, here we go. What they did is, they went to the houses. I don't, they didn't case these houses, apparently. But uh, they went to these houses, and they found the house, and they did a, they did a, they did a home robbery. Home invasion. It's a, it was a robbery. It would have been a robbery if the guy wasn't there, but they did a basically a home invasion. And the owner was there. And Jesus Louise, guess what happens? The 21 year old gets popped and dies. And the other one's running and they all, I guess they escaped or whatever. I don't know what how it happened, but ultimately the last three got arrested. But what happened was. The burglary and all that, they're cool with. They got, you know, what happened was they got charged and, and hit, this, my state does it. I live in Ohio now. The state I used to live in, Pennsylvania, they do it. The state of New York that I lived in and born, they do it. And the air does it. I think Illinois does it too, so the state's all I'm all connected to. These motherfuckers do this shit. If you commit a crime with a person, so you go out and rob a bank. Now, I'll make, I'll make it even simple because you motherfuckers ain't going to rob no bank because that's too much, like, sophistication. You guys got to work and read for rob banks. Say you robbed your corner liquor store. Say there's you, another person. I'll say there's three of you. Well, say say you go in there and I'll, there's somebody behind the desk and there's another person with, you know, usually two people behind the desk. Say there's five people all together. And say out of the five people, one dies on either side, whether it's the crooks or the owners. You're getting charged with that lick. You're getting charged with that body regardless. And that's what happened with these Elkhart 4 kids. What happened was, the young man who broke in the house died, and the, and the DA, he charged the rest of the three of them, the, the remaining three, with, 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 with uh, murder. And surprisingly, well, not really surprisingly, given this day and age, they won. They got that conviction. Now, when I was watching Dr. Phil, the point was, and here's what the mothers and all this are saying, and there's another point I'm trying to make right now. A lot of you people don't care about these laws that take effect until it affects you. By then, it's too late. But what these mothers are trying to say, 
Well, each of them were all independent. They all went in the house. They did this and the third. Why should we, they be charged with that murder? And what, what it was was they don't understand the law. That's the law. If you do it, you take that in account of, they, they, they did it here. I know they did it in Ohio. They did it in Columbus a couple of times. I know that for a fact because I've seen it. One time some dude tried to rob a house, he slipped and fell. <laughs> After they was getting chased, he died. They charged two of his boys with, they, they charged them and they got that conviction. Because the evidence was right there. They they gave it up. Well, and the mothers, God bless their soul, another defendant of their sons. But they were like, well, how can they give them a murder? They were all independent. Well, they were working together, but at the same time, they were all, they all knew what they were doing. They, the usual defense of stuff that you people give whenever you fuck up and want to justify your fuck ups. And uh, the, 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 Dr. Phil had this federal prosecutor on there. And the lady was, you couldn't, I couldn't touch what she was saying because she was, she was saying, it was like, you got me. What she said is, they were all in cahoots, so they all have responsibility. They're all collectively working together, so they're all collectively responsible for anything that happens. I was like, I agree with that. But at the same time, Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil was playing, he was playing a fucking ratings game, in my opinion. In my opinion only, he was playing the, uh, well, they should have got, see, he, he waited, man, in the last, in FYI, he waited until like the last five minutes to give his opinion. He wasn't saying none of the stuff he said in the last five minutes during the show, because he knew it would hurt ratings and women would have walked off that set. What he was saying was, and I agreed with half of what he said. He said, I, I believe everybody should be accountable for what they did, this and that, and these boys should be arrested. Then he wanted to say to cover his ass with these chicks, he said, but I do believe that the, they guess they got like 50, they got the average of 50 years because the penalties were I think too excessive for these young men because these young the young male vines currently don't develop till 25. There I was like, fuck you talking about, Doctor Phil. That's when I knew he would. That's when I knew he's placating. He's placating those women. He's telling these chicks what they want to hear. So when the whole hour he's telling them what they want to hear because he would tell them that stuff he said in the last five minutes. They walked off the set. Now let me tell you something, people. I told you about laws coming out that are designed to keep cats in prison. Now, if these young folks don't want to listen, it's it's like when I was coming up. Yes, a few times, I think like one or two, I ran afoul of the law. But at the same time, in my day, I knew what I was doing as far as whatever I was doing. I knew the pun what the punishments could be. And I accepted that because back in the day, that's what that's how we were coming up. And I respect a lot of older dudes that ran the streets, and I was taught that. Another thing they teach you nowadays is be a snitch. I never, I was never taught that one, and I never did that. But I digress, and back to the point. So when I was running while doing my thing, I was consciously aware of what I was doing. So that made me consciously aware of who I was hanging with, and I knew I had to hang with thorough dudes. If I wasn't hanging with a thorough dude, then the, the whole house of cards could have been brought down. But I got out of that mindset, and it stepped on my job. So I found out like the, the truth, you either laying up in prison and dead. It's only two options for you. I found out that is real. So I got back to my nine to five gigs. Well, I never lost my nine to five gigs. I always had one. I just like messing around in the streets. Back to lecture. My point is, there's these laws they're crafting, and you guys need to pay attention. You need to look at the meat of the bills to find out, because sooner or later it's gonna affect you. Now, these parents were crying why about their kids. Now, me personally, you did it. If you did the crime, don't cry now. Don't cry because your buddy, your buddy got, I mean, I feel sorry for a guy, a young man that died. But don't, I don't feel sorry for, if, if, if I go out and kill fucking 35 people and I kill Crazy Rampage, what, am I, what, what? And then they say, well, he was mentally ill. A lot of people are like, fucking being mentally ill, they're like, put him to death. So there's no sympathy nowadays for you people. If you can't do the crime, oh no, if you can't do the time, hit the books. You can't do the crime when you're hitting the books. See, a lot of you guys gave up on life. A lot of you want to be, a lot of you are trying to get hit licks off of Facebook now. A lot of you think because you take little bathroom pictures, you're going to get on. 
what it boils down to is if these kids were, I mean, I, uh, and here's another interesting side note. I never saw none of their dads on Dr. Phil. All the four boys, it was all their moms. I never saw any of their dads. I mean, I don't know if that's a telling sign. I don't know if they're still May. I don't know if the dad, if the dad was like me, I'd be like, you ain't getting me on that fucking show. But a lot of young boys need to listen and pay. It was, and it was, it was, a, it was a Puerto Rican, it was a black kid and two white kids. So it, it crossed all, it was like the fucking United Nations of fucking fuck ups over here. But uh, well, my point is, they're crying and whining about laws that they had a chance to vote on or have an opinion on, but you didn't. But now that, that law or bill or whatever is affecting you, all of a sudden it's like, sound the trumpets, Caesar has arrived. No, you, it's too late now. Do I think 55 years is a harsh sentence? I think, 50, I think fucking 20 years is a harsh sentence on people. But does that change the fact that they don't give out 20 years to people? No, I know dudes are good. I know dudes with an L beside their, their, their sentence. I know dudes that ain't gonna see the light of day. To me, that's unfair, but that's the law. I mean, the only thing you can do is appeal for leniency and do all the other stuff, but you know, the only real thing you can do is don't do fucking crime. How about that? So, at the end of the day, all oh, these you kids need to be held accountable for what they've done. And Dr. Phil kind of bullshit a little bit on the, on the, on the whole hour, but he's trying to get ratings now. He got to keep the numbers coming in, so. Look up the, El look up the Elkhart 4. There. That's it. That's him.